player whose name appears on the Granite State roster. Brian Delorier was part of that St. Albans team that finished runner-up to Spalding in the Division I State Championship. So why is he playing for the New Hampshire team? We'll have the answer for you during tonight's... A Vermonter who will play for the Granite State will tell you all about it. Make-A-Wish hockey teams are practicing New Hampshire's. The puck drops Saturday night. Program may be a little confusing to spectators as a Vermont player appears on the New Hampshire roster. Len Jennings and photographer Eric Feldus explain the confusion. Spectators at Saturday's Make-A-Wish Hockey Classic will notice Vermonter Brian Delorier on New Hampshire's roster. Brian made the Vermont All-Star team, but wasn't able to play because of his commitment to the Air Force Academy. Brian's plans for the Air Force took a turn for the worst. I got an honorable discharge, so I'm an 18-year-old veteran, I guess. So Something's always been wrong with my shoulder, never knew what it was. It's called PDS. Uh, it just basically means my shoulder's dislocated, been that way for about 15 years or so. Brian became a player without a team. He actually volunteered to serve as a manager for the Green Mountain squad. Then a spot on the bench opened up. But it wasn't on Vermont's side. It was on New Hampshire's. Uh, we had two kids that uh, at the last minute couldn't play, and our kids didn't have a problem. And it, it's, a, it's, a, you know, it's a good opportunity for him, and it's a great cause, so you know, why not let the kid play? I mean, I guess you kind of have to look at the big picture. We're playing for a cause here, and he wants to play, and he really wants to help out this kid. So, I mean, he's willing to help out. We're willing to take him. Brian was part of the Bob White team that finished runner-up to Spalding in the Division I title game last winter. Four other members of that St. Albans squad will be suited up Saturday night opposing their former teammate. I started sort of picking on him a little bit, picking on him about, yeah, now you're going to be a spy for us, and now you can give us, like, pointers and clues of who's going to be good and all that stuff, but mostly we're just pretty cool about it. You know, it's not like we've been uh, together for three months or anything. I mean, it's only been three days. Uh, the game's supposed to be for fun. It's not a championship, uh, and I get to play. Ryan will be enrolled at the University of Vermont this fall. UVM's campus is where the hockey players are lodging. Ryan may be playing for New Hampshire, but he made it clear that he'll be bunking with his fellow Vermonters. Len Jennings, Channel 3 Sports, Burlington. Oh, now I've seen it all in these All-Star games of Vermonter playing for New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> That's neat. Face off for an All-Star Classic. Len Jennings has those stories and more when we return. When state season is season is winding down. It's winding down. Of course, we got one more Vermont New Hampshire matchup, and that's the Shrine football uh, game, and that's in two weeks. That's two weeks from now, and Vermont and New Hampshire's hockey all stars faced off this evening for the fourth annual Make a Wish Hockey Classic. But Gutterson Fieldhouse was the site in Burlington where Vermont had a chance to take a 3 1 series advantage over their neighbors from the east. Vermont came out strong. They built a 3 2 lead in the second period as Jason Lacrosse's tip. Of the loose puck in front goes in. Minutes later, Lee Godbout is in front to deflect home. Brad Schroyer shot into the net. Vermont goes up 4-2. New Hampshire storms back with two goals late in the second period. The second by John Cesare to tie the game at four piece. New Hampshire would explode for five in the third period, including two shorthanded goals. One by Matt Serena here, the other by Brian Delorier. He's actually a Vermonter on the New Hampshire team. His two goals led New Hampshire to a 9-5 victory over Vermont. Play well for New Hampshire, but yet I kind of wanted Vermont to win, you know, and, uh, and I didn't know how I'd handle it once the game started, but once we started playing, we started winning, you know, and kind of <laughs> wanted New Hampshire to win, I hate to say it. Oh, yeah, definitely. It was worth it. I mean, I had a lot of fun this week. It was great hanging out with the guys, getting low, like new friends, you know. I mean, the New Hampshire guys aren't so bad. It was pretty fun. New Hampshire scored six straight and seven of the last eight goals of the game to win, and they tied the series up at two apiece. Olympic athletes look to put this morning's blast behind them and strive for gold as the...